Right, the news. Now, we've heard from Nissan this week about a recall. Recalls, if you don't know, is when a manufacturer holds up its hands and says, yeah, there's a problem with one of our cars, bring it in and we'll fix it, they tell the owners. Usually there's a thousand, a few thousand, maybe a few hundred thousand. This particular recall is for two and a half million Nissans. Mm. Two and a half million and cars. And what we were thinking was, where do you get the envelopes from? Yes. I mean, do you walk into the local envelope supplier and go, we'd like two and a half million... And then you've got the photocopying. They yes. had a pronto print. Um, could you copy this for and me, please? And somebody's given the list right to these people, tell them. But the bit that I like to think about particularly is, at some point, there must, there must have been a moment in an office when somebody realised, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> and they had their long walk down a corridor to the big office and sort of... Yes, what is it, Watkins? <laughs> <laughs> you better not have mucked up again. Um, not another recall, is it? Um, How many is it this time? 100,000? 200,000? Come on, give me the worst. Two and a half million, sir. <laughs> two and a half million cars. I mean, how yeah. much is that going to cost in stamps? Yeah, exactly. Just before you get the car into it, as you fix it, two and a half million stamps. Now, last week we were having a bit of a row about sports cars, and you championed the S2000 Honda, which was which rubbish. Which is rubbish. <laughs> and interesting enough, Honda have improved it. They've given it's it... impossible to improve No, it. they've given it a clock... Yeah. ...and a fruitier horn tone. Oh, that's <laughs> nice. Does it look any different? No, is picture, it the same? Look at that. Look at that. That's, that's, a, that's a board... Oh, no, it is a sports car. Majesty. You still oh, lost... Am though, I right you? about the Honda S2000? No, you Hands not. up if you think I'm right. Hands up who was the S2000. That's about that's three a majority. people. <laughs> <laughs> that was about three people. 300. And you still lost. <laughs> if it had been dry... And if your two cars hadn't, hadn't turned up, <laughs> <laughs> it would have won. Would it have won with a new horn tone? No, the new or horn tone is simply because of the speed it goes, you need a richer horn tone to get the... I was going to use the wrong word there, to get your cars out of the way. It's so the deaf old buggers driving it, because it's a Honda, can hear the horns working at all. Can I talk about something else now, please? The police, it seems, are tired of people ripping up and destroying their speed cameras, which apparently does go on. So they've decided instead they're going to use old people. <laughs> Sounds like a very good idea. They, well, they're going, to, they're going to arm... It's a pilot scheme. They're going to arm vigilantes with speed guns and then send them out into their communities to zap people... Or to shock what? their neighbours. What, what kind of a person is going to say, yes, that's the job for me, I'll get a speed camera and... It's a job for Paul Burrell. There you go. He's, <laughs> he's, he hates you already. He's done his employers. Now I'm going to do my neighbours and friends. But what kind of a country are we living in where people actually think that there will be people who say, yes, I want to go and catch that bloke at number 27 doing 31 miles an hour? And the point is, the only people who will have the time to do this, and even the police, I'm sure, will admit this, are retired people. It's going to be old people in cardigans with little... Yes, actually, we're guns. safe. We're safe. Let's imagine the scene in your little village. Oh, Doris, I think there's a car coming. Get your <laughs> ray gun, let's go out and have a look. Oh, um, have you turned the kettle off? Do you want to have wait? You locked all the... Have you been to the lavatory, <laughs> Bill? Because you need to for quite some time. Oh, come on, then, have you locked the door? Have you locked the door? Oh, we've got the cats inside or out. Oh, I don't know, here he comes. Come on, be quickly, get your... That's not your radar gun, love, that's your air dryer. Oh, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bill, you've come out in your slippers. I've thought about this, actually. If you want to do it really cleverly, if you didn't like your neighbour, just ring him up at work. Tell them the house is on fire and sit at the end of their road with your radar. <laughs> <laughs> this is an unusual thing. Jeremy, do you want to sit back and have a little nap or something? Because you're not going to be very interested. It's about a bike. Oh, Go away. Excellent. Um, this is the Dodge Tomahawk. They built one of these things, um, and it's by Chrysler. They put the engine out the Viper. You know, the, the Viper, great big engine. About 420 miles an hour, possibly, potential speed. Let's have a look at this thing. It's absolutely astonishing. They built one. They're going to actually <laughs> sell them through I don't order. think that's a bike. Well, it's I got four worry. wheels and a Dodge Viper engine. Think, I call that a car. I think they may have been confused. We don't do bikes on this programme. What is his problem? Can I just ask you, though, Jeremy, I'm interested in this. What is it you don't get about bikes? I want to try and I just don't want you. to dress up like a Power Ranger and drive to a pub and drink orange <laughs> juice all afternoon. <laughs> You like these cars that you get involved with, and so do I, and I'd never give up a car, but a bike, you are much more... Back me up, at one with a bike. Your body You're at one with the bike until you the hit physics. the tree, and then you're at one with that. <laughs> I think it's simply that you know... You know deep down in your heart of hearts, if you were on a bike, you would look 
ridiculous. Yes, I would. And that's what because it everyone on the bike please. with that leather ass. Look at that. <laughs> Look at my bottom. <laughs> oh, I've got a zigzag blue thing on the front of my suit, and I'm wearing a hat like a terrorist. Have you ever fallen out of a car? No. Well, there you are. Actually, I've never. <laughs> I'm driving down the M40, here's a half bridge, but I've, I've fallen out. That's user error, it's not obligatory. Can I just move it on? Yes, please. I heard a great story this week. You know Travelodge, the people, little hotels at the side of the road, they've decided that now they are well open up their rooms, rent them for half an hour at a time to tired motorists during the day. <laughs> So so that's your driver. A gentleman and a lady motorist decide they need a little bit of a that's, break. I immediately thought the same as you. Little a nap. gentleman and a lady motorist are driving along and say, let's have a nap, nap. <laughs> for, for half an hour, for a fiver in the travel lodge. But no, they're actually saying the rooms are only single occupancy. They'll only allow you in there on your own. So why would you want to have a it's nap? His, yeah. I've just been looking on at this own. picture of uh, Pamela Anderson and I need a nap. <laughs> <laughs> For five minutes. <laughs> now, imagine you're driving along one day and suddenly you veer off into a lake. It does happen, seriously. <laughs> it does happen, seriously. Every year in Britain, more people drown in cars than on boating lakes. It's absolutely true. So, I decided, well, Jeremy and James decided that I should investigate this by drowning myself. <laughs> First, stunt coordinator Sean Rogers took me aside for a quiet word. So this is not to scare you, it's just to show you how quickly this car could fill up, all right? Okay. Now, if you wait, talking about the water coming in, coming in, coming in. And that's it. Now it's gone. That's quick, isn't it? OK. So you haven't got time to muck about. Now, obviously, it isn't a good idea to simply drive a car into a lake and see what happens. Instead, we've got ourselves a tank and some safety divers. Now all I need to do is learn some basic diving techniques, <laughs> just in case things go wrong. Before we did the stunt for real, I had to go underwater to practice the emergency hand signals in case there was a problem and the divers had to give me air. Then, just to spice things up a bit, they ripped my face mask off without warning. And sure enough, within seconds, I was breathing water. Not a good start. And then, to add insult to my likely injuries, I got first sight of my potential coffin, an F-Reg Vauxhall Carlton. Not even a GSI. Oh, thank you. As the time approached to actually do this, even though I knew I had a host of safety people around me to make sure I was OK, I've got to confess, my nerves were on edge. OK, I'm swinging above the water in a car. About to have a horrible accident. Real fear. A real sense of fear. OK, Richard, you yeah. OK? I'm OK. Ready, Fred? Ready. Divers ready? OK, stand by. Five, four, three, two, one, action! And... <laughs> and we'll find out later if I die. But first, <laughs> here's yet another Jaguar concept car. 
This one is called the RD6. It's made almost entirely of aluminium. It's very light and it's powered, remarkably enough, by a turbocharged V6 diesel engine. But the bit I really like is the inside. Have a look at this. Now, have a look at that black leather and all those shiny bits and those red lights down in the footwell. Now, clearly, a Jaguar designer got completely lashed in a vodka bar and thought, oh, I'll make it look like this then. So, obviously, there'll be a bouncer on the door telling you you can't come in because you've got trainers on. <laughs> it's a gorgeous-looking thing. I think it it's is. fab. But here's the thing I don't get about Jaguar concept cars. Two years ago, about then, they showed us the XK180. And there it is. That was to show us what Jaguars of the future will look like. But then, last year, they did the R Coupe to show us what Jaguars of the future will look like. And now they're back again with this to show us what Jaguars of the future will look like. Now look, Jaguar, you have made your point. Just make the car. 